Tomorrow is the day of the festival. I can see the mask dancing. I can't wait to go to the festival with everyone. But if I put on a mask, will I forget about everything again? Blank. This illness makes me lose my memories. I remember being sick, but the people I can't meet anymore, the people who have died, my father, they all disappear. If I try to remember, I start feeling scared. But if I don't remember, my father will disappear. The father I can remember will die. I'm scared. I'm scared for remembering, but please don't disappear. Okay, aha! We have a mask! When I took it out of the box and looked at it carefully, I faintly remembered something. This is... There we go. I have to shine the light on it first, because it's obviously unable to be seen without it. Mask on her. Who could it be? And who was that woman? It must have been Sakuya. The day of the festival when I was kidnapped, it it hurts to remember. That day when I was kidnapped, what did they do to me? Raped you, or at least raped your mind. All right, are we done with the room yet? Can we go exploring elsewhere? I think so. Now we wander around until we find a ghost. Okay, that way probably not. Probably this way. Help me! It's cold out here! Can you please open the window? I can't get in! There are wolves out here! I think I see one. Anyway, with that ghost there, we all know that we're going the right direction. And hey, there are collectibles around, so we definitely know we're going the right direction. Nurse's Note. And these people have so many things to say. Stagnant air flows through the hospital. Hospital staff dying in accidents. <laughs> Probably Ayako. Inpatients disappearing mysteriously, probably Ayako. The sorrowful presence here suddenly began, definitely Ayako. Ever since that day, the behavior of the patients has become increasingly strange. The doctors and nurses are being crushed by the dismal atmosphere. After Subaki on the third floor died, I had to had bleh, I've had to take charge of her duties there until new people can be hired. I had to take over. There was no one else. I maintain contact with the patient that left the hospital, the child that was kidnapped and found safely. When the child's room was cleaned, I found her mother's diary. The mother and child have left the island now, and they won't be coming back to get it soon. Okay, she's talking about Ruka. All it held was painful memories of the place on the island where they grew up. They may, they may come back someday. Until that time, it's important to keep it safe. Oh, my goodness. Hi there, nurse. How you doing? Oh, my heart. Derp -de derp Okay, let's grab this first. Sayaka's diary number three. Used a key. On the diary. Oh, Twelve pages! Hold on. I need a drink of ginger ale for this one. Ah. Alright, here we go. Ruka, I'm sorry. I don't think I could make, take it anymore. I don't think I can either. When I heard from the detective how you were found, everything I believed in collapsed with the noise. They say that the tunnel they found you in was connected to the elevator shaft in Hybera Hospital. I realized that putting you into the hospital and asking Dr. Hybera to cure you was nothing but a mistake. And, when I heard what condition your clothes were in when I found you, and what the tunnel was like, I... Who would have thought that person was involved? To imagine that the murderer was really involved in all this. 
then there really isn't any place that could offer us peace anymore. Mr. Kirishimi said that it was unreasonable to take me to the place where you were found, from the first floor Rogetsu Hall corridor crossing to Hybera Hospital. Blank, thank God. In the basement of Hybera Hospital, there's an, no elevator button that goes further down than the first floor. That's where you were, against the old tunnel wall where the hospital's construction work was suspended. Suspended. Blah! Right under the moon reflected well. Only a thin light shines down from the dark of the well. The cold air from that place makes the body tremble uncontrollably. When I stood in that place, I could only cry. Back then, what happened to you? Why did your heart break? Your memories vanish. Did Dr. Uh, Katagiri said that, even if your memory doesn't return, you are fortunate to have survived. For now, we must try not to upset the balance of your barely maintained mental state. Thank God blank. From now on, maybe it's not impossible for you to recover slowly and return to a normal life again. But you probably won't remember anything from before you lost your memory. What reason do you have to remember when it could only break your heart? Just maybe there's a chance that you may bloom. It will be hard to lose our irreplaceable memories, but we need to forget about the things of the past. What you remembered, what's happened to us. We should only look forward, holding hands tightly. From now on, only remember the good things. And we're done, thank God! 20 crystals. Anything else in here? Nope, and off we go. Okay, so looks like we have to go down to the basement. And you know what? I'm going to save this on a different file just in case there really was something weird that happened with recording. So, just in case, if I absolutely have to, I can restart the chapter and restart this recording. Otherwise, we got a backup. Okay, so... Hmm. Uh. Oh, yes, elevator. 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 Oh, here it comes. Let's try the first floor. Elevator started moving. Yeah, because we still can't go to the fourth floor without uh, a key, so that's pointless. Anyway, I think I'm going the right direction. I think we're supposed to head down to the... Well, we'll find out. Aha! Yes, I've gone the right direction. Oh, crap! Yeah, um... Shit. Time to run, time to run, time to run, 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 run! Running away, running away, running away, running away, running away! You can open the door so slowly! Run! You cannot hope to defeat her! She is Sinistar! Run, run! Okay, well, at least we know we're on the right track. Hmm? Oh, I can't examine it. Okay. There are many wooden boxes here labeled comments. There are countless envelopes pushed inside, and several have overflowed and fallen out onto the floor. Yeah, I'd have some comments, too. Alright, long hallway. Best way to do this? Slowly. Oh, okay. We're good. Nothing happened. Woo! -hoo! Okay. Well, since we're here, I guess we better save again. Uh -huh. 
Just in case. All right. Moving along now. I don't know what I'll do if that ghost pops up again. Hmm, still nothing happening, okay. Well, I think we're gonna be fine. But I think this is the way that I'm supposed to go. Nope. The door is locked. Aha! It is the way we're supposed to go. We just gotta get ourselves a clue first. Oh boy. Okay, we gotta go down in the basement. Time to go to the basement. Hey, there's something glowy. Probably crystals. Probably a hand. Probably useful. Probably not. Anything else around here? You know, I wonder if there's a doll around here. You know what, there probably is, but I'm not gonna waste time. I mean, we, geez, we've already seen the doll like twice, okay? So, what am I doing looking for dolls? Oh? Uh? Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. She's not chasing us. Let's go! <laughs> Alrighty. Huh? Ooh, there's a doll over there. Aha! There's something on the floor. Let's see what it is. The blow lens. Oh my, it's time to blow. Oh, that's, uh, that's not a doll. Never mind. Alright. Look down the dark, creepy hole! Long iron key. An old key has fallen into the floor. Access path is written on it. Alright, so now we know where to go. Oh, hi there, nurse! Gee, freak me out, why don't you? Alright, what do you got over here? <laughs> you evil bitch! There you go. Okay. Come on! Fucking scare me. What do you think you are, ghost? Uh, oh, behind me! Yeah! Turn around. There you go. Okay. Okay, gotta wait for that fatal frame shot. Let's go. Come on! Come on! What the? What the? What the that's not fair! There we go. Okay. Woo <laughs> Yeah! Go me.